friends, Mandy here. Welcome back to Handmade Not Hallmark. And today I've got this fun Valentine's card featuring some amazing products from Whimsy Stamps. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to color in this sweet little Yeti image. I just fell in love with this stamp set as soon as I saw it. So I wanted to get him colored in first. So I'm just starting out with a nice white layer of my colored pencils. And then I'm going to go in with the other colors on top. I am going to add some music in here for you to enjoy while I do all of the coloring. And once I'm all finished, we'll come back and finish the card together.
Once I was all finished with the coloring, I placed my image back in my Misty and I stamped over top of it with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And that really helps brighten back up all of the imagery. Um, whenever you color with colored pencils, sometimes you can go over areas and it can kind of wash it out. Um, doing this really helps kind of brighten the image back up and I think it really makes it shine. So the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to work on my background. So this background was kind of a thought I just had in my head. Um, I just kind of came up with it and it turned out really well and I was really excited about it. I didn't want to just put my little Yeti on a craft background with a heart and that be it. I wanted to have some more color in the background to kind of bring out the color from the little hearts that he's holding. So I started out with the Vintage Script Background Stamp from Whimsy and I was going to at first kind of do like a, um, a watermark look with the background stamp but it didn't really translate super well so I decided to go in with um, Simon Says Stamp Craft cardstock or Craft Ink, excuse me. This is Nina cardstock, and I'm gonna go in with Craft Ink to just kind of brighten that up a little bit. Um, I did. It just kind of makes it a little bit subtle. I wasn't too worried about getting a perfect stamp because I just wanted something in the background. Now that I had that done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, stamp away, and I'm gonna put my little um, foam piece back in my Misty so I can do some other stamping. So I'm using the painted. Um, stripes oh I can't remember what the name of it is I'll have everything listed down in the description below um, if you guys are interested in any of the products that I use today so I wanted just to create this fun little background using this one image it looks like a paint stroke and I'm using my distress oxide inks to create this little kind of focal point in the background behind my Yeti now I didn't film the entire process but it's kind of repetitive I just take this stamp and kind of rotate it and alternate it between these three colors to create this fun little background behind my Yeti. Once I had, excuse me, once I had that all done, um, I really fell in love with it. I thought, oh, this would make for a really fun card by itself. So that's in the back of my mind. But anyway, once that was all finished, I went ahead and I die cut um, another die from Whimsy. This is the Connected Hearts die. And I cut it out of some glitter cardstock that I had in my stash. Um, I believe it is from tonic i'm not sure if it's available anymore but there it's called um gold hearted mixed card pack um and and i don't know if they make it anymore but um but there are so many glitter card stocks out on the market that you could use anything that you had so there's my little yeti and he's super cute and i wanted to add a little bit of detail to him so i went in with my um white gel pen my black glaze pen and my stardust glitter pen to add some fun detail to my little yeti this is again a completely optional step you definitely don't have to do this i just prefer to doing this because i think it really makes the little images shine and just kind of adds a little bit of life and character to them so i'm going to go in and add some highlights to the little hearts to his little horns and then i took a really small i think this is like the 0.5 um jelly roll pen and it brightened up his little teeth there and then I went in with the black glaze pen and brightened up his little eyes and then I went in with the stardust glitter pen and added a little bit of sparkle to his fur because I figured he's a yeti he lives in the snow so he's going to have some snow on his coat and it's going to sparkle so that's kind of my thought process behind doing that and I just think it looked really cute he's super sweet and then the final thing I'm going to do with the Yeti is I'm going to go in with my um, gl my aqua glitter pen and add some shine to the little hearts. And again, completely optional. You can definitely not do these things, but it just adds so much fun and interest to these little cards. Once I had him all finished and I was super happy with him, I set him off to the side to work on the rest of the card. I'm going to adhere this um, heart die down flat. Now you could try to pop it up but I think it looks better flat against the background and this alone this fun little background I created this little heart and a die cut greeting right in the middle done a beautiful card that's what my whole idea was I thought wow this makes a really pretty card I could just be done right here but I had to add the yeti because he's cute Next, I have a happy word die um, from Whimsy as well. I did share this card over on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Um, if you wanted to go check it out over there, 
um, but they were gracious enough to let me share this card on my channel for you folks as well. They've got some really amazing creators over there and some really fun products. I've been having a really good time creating with all of their um, items. They have so many different designers and different styles, so you can definitely find something that suits you over there at Whimsy gonna stack up this little happy die. I cut it out of some pink cardstock. I think this is ballet slipper from Lawn Fawn. I can't be sure but um and I stacked it up three times to create a fun dynamic or dimensional die cut. Next I'm gonna take um some other greetings from the same Yeti stamp that says Valentine's Day and I'm gonna stamp it down on some white cardstock with the same picked raspberry distress oxide ink that I used earlier. And I'm just going to stamp that down on this white cardstock. I wanted to bring just a little bit more white in um, to help with like the mat I have around the outside of the card and um, the little white accents that I'm going to add later. And I'm just going to um, trim that out with my paper trimmer. So now I have all of my elements ready to go. I can start assembling my card. And I'm just using some foam tape behind my Yeti to pop him up. Now, I at first I placed him a little bit too far down because I wanted to put the happy Valentine's Day underneath him. So I did have to kind of pull him up very gently. I could have covered him up with the happy die, but I didn't want to cover him up at all. He was so sweet and it took me a little bit of time to color him in. So I didn't want to cover him up with anything. So that's why I just decided to um, peel him up very gently and slide him up the card. And I was very, very lucky that I didn't tear him or tear anything in the background and that all this foam tape pop up, popped up beautifully and it is still sticky. He's not going anywhere. So um, got him finally where I wanted him. And then I'm just going to adhere the happy die down using that same liquid glue right underneath his little feet. I love his little toes. They're so cute. <laughs> Reminds me of that movie. I think it's called um, Smallfoot. It's about yetis. It's super cute. And then I'm going to attach the Valentine's Day part up with the same foam tape just so it can kind of settle over top of the happy. And then now I can go in with some final finishing details to create this, to finish this card up. I did have so much fun with this. I'm not really much of a Valentine's Day celebrator. Um, it's not my favorite holiday. If I don't get anything for Valentine's Day, I'm not going to be upset. Um, it's just not my favorite. I think a lot of it has to do with all the Valentines I have to create for my kids. It's so many. But um, finally, I'm going to go in and add some of these fun clay hearts. They were the perfect shade for this card. Um, here at the top to kind of fill in some of that empty space up top there. And then I put a few more down around the greeting. Again, you can never have too many hearts on a Valentine's Day card. And this one was just so sweet. All of those images, they have so many images for Yetis. They have some for Valentine's Day, for um, Christmas. I think they have some for St. Patrick's Day. They're just so sweet. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Aqua Shimmer Pen. Or this is a Wink Estella, I'm sorry. And add a little bit of glitter to the Happy Die because you can never have enough glitter. And I just love using these things. So... And that will finish up this card for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun, cute Valentine's Day card featuring this adorable image from Whimsy Stamp and all of their amazing products. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos here at my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and taking the time to watch my video. And I'll catch up with you guys again real soon in the next one. I'll see ya. Bye. On screen, I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos at my YouTube channel.